What's up gamers, you have Tiger Chainsaw here. And a few years ago, I released two videos detailing what I liked about Sega Rally Championship and what I did not like about Sega Rally Championship. And boy, did that piss off a certain individual. He must have tweeted at me a hundred times telling me how stupid I was, how wrong I was. And even though I responded politely to his tweets, he ended up blocking me. And that went on for like five or six months. He just would randomly unblock me and then block me. I don't know, it was really weird. And so my opinion of Sega Rally Championship really got to this guy. So with that being said, I thought I would go more in depth and do an actual review of Sega Rally Championship and kind of put it all on the table on why I think it's an overrated game, but let me get into that in just a little bit. Now, if this is your first time on my channel or if you just haven't yet, make sure you hit that sub button to watch plenty of retro video game content and plenty of video game reviews. All right, let's head to the starting line and get in to the Sega Rally Championship review. Originally released by Sega in the arcades, Sega Rally Championship was ported to the Sega Saturn in North America in 1995. The game has been hailed as a new milestone for racing games as it was the first to feature different friction properties based on the type of terrain that the car was driving over. Let's hit the dirt and ramp some hills and find out why everyone loves this game, but also why I don't. Let's head to the plot of Sega Rally Championship, and spoilers are going to be ahead. Yeah, this is a racing game, so there's no plot. Sega Rally Championship probably holds a special place in the hearts of many who grew up in the early to mid 90s. You'll probably have some strong feelings toward the game, and I wanted to point out all of the good things that I found during my playthrough and acknowledge that there are quality features before diving into what I didn't like. In Sega Rally Championship, you'll be able to choose from two different rally cars and race on three courses. You can choose between manual and automatic shifting. Now there is a fourth course to unlock if you are able to cruise through the first three. And there's also a third car to unlock if you get first place on the fourth course. Now something that is pretty impressive about Sega Rally Championship is the physics. As the terrain changes, so do the resistance of the tires. Surfaces can be slick or rough to drive on and you'll have to memorize the courses to navigate the rally car to the best of its ability. Learning when to put your foot down on the gas and when to brake is key when memorizing every inch of the track. This isn't just a game where you have to hold down the acceleration the entire race and expect to win. One of my favorite features in any racing game is the ability to watch a replay of your race. Sega Rally Championship offers that and it was nice to see your rally car zooming around the corners heading toward the finish line. The main game is called World Championship where the player must race through three courses against time. The first course takes place on a desert-like track, which was relatively easy to win on. This one was probably my favorite course to race on. I really did enjoy going over the ramps and seeing how high my rally car could go. The second course was called Forest and it featured dirt mechanics. The final course was called Mountain in which you circled up a mountain terrain. If you ended up in first place during the mountain race, you'll reach a secret level called Lakeside. Now, if you finish Lakeside in first place, you'll unlock a third rally car. And finally, I did enjoy the soundtrack. It fits very nicely for an arcade racer. And when I did lose, I loved hearing the Game Over segment. Game over, yeah! And also, in 1995, I'm sure the graphics of Sega Rally Championship on a home console was mind-blowing. I can't finish the things that I liked about Sega Rally Championship without mentioning that helicopter that's near the finish line that's acting like it's filming you. I thought that was a really cool touch. Sega Rally Championship is an excellent port from the arcade 
to the Sega Saturn. But this is where my main gripe actually comes in. This is not my type of racing game. But let me go into more details. Sega Rally Championship is a race against time. That's it. Yes, there are other cars on the course, but this wasn't about beating your opponents. It's a race against yourself. In its purest form, Sega Rally Championship is just a time trial race. You aren't really racing the opponents, but instead you are racing to beat your best time and the clock. Now there are some people that love those modes and are addicted to shaving off seconds of their time. But for me, I never cared for time attack modes or time trials in racing games. I'm not that gamer. I prefer other types of racers and that's okay. But it's also okay if you think this is the greatest game in the world. Sega Rally Championship does have some features that I can appreciate for what it is, but for me, it doesn't offer enough. Let me explain a little bit more. During the races, you are racing against the clock. Yes, there are other cars on the course, but they act like a moving blockade instead of racers that you're trying to beat to the finish line. Now this next point that I'm about to make might open up your eyes to my viewpoint. At least, maybe you'll understand it. The entirety of Sega Rally Championship lasts under four minutes if you clear all the courses. Think about that. Four minutes. Four minutes! It takes four minutes to complete Sega Rally Championship when you do all the courses. That's where this game loses me. I was really expecting a game to offer more than three courses with a fourth one that's unlockable. I really wished that the game included car customization or one-on-one -on -one racing against computer controlled cars. It offers none of that. I grew pretty bored of this game fairly quickly. I played it all the way through, but I mean is that really saying much? It's under four minutes. Now yes, I did play it again and again to get a little bit better at it, but still, I'm expecting my game to last a little bit longer than that and offer some other options along with it. There's only three rally cars to choose from, which is pretty lame, and only two of them are available for the majority of the game. Going back to 1995, I just would assume that a racing game would offer maybe four rally cars. And again, Sega Rally Championship only offers three, and the third one is unlockable, but it's kind of hard to do so. As I said, you have to get first place on the fourth race. For such a short game, and one that gives you a beautiful replay of your race, it would have added style points for seeing different rally cars on the replay, instead of the two standard ones that the game gives you. Simple customization of changing the color of your car, adding a different number, or slapping on a couple generic logos would have been welcome to at least make the car your own. Aside from racing opponents, you also have to reach check marks to refill your time. I found this added feature unnecessary and at times pretty tough to continue. It really frustrated me to see a checkpoint ahead and realize I'm not going to make it. I wish there was an option to turn off the checkpoints and just race against the other racers. You can still have a fun arcade racing game without the timed checkpoints. And sure, you can point out there are tons of arcade racers that have this feature, but how many of them are only 4 minutes long on consoles? Overall, there are many people that are very passionate about Sega Rally Championship. That's great to see, but for me, it wasn't a game that I'd spend hours on just to shave off a few seconds. There needed to be more than a time attack mode, more cars to choose from, and at least a customization feature, and a different mode for racing. A one-on-one -on -one race against the computer cars would have been great. Again, Sega Rally Championship is an excellent arcade game, but on console, it falls short in terms of replayability and offering different modes for players interested in something other than a time attack. So my taste and style are not time trials. I've said that plenty now. In any racing game that features them, I always avoid them. And that's really all that Sega Rally Championship is. So if you love time attacks or time trials, whatever you want to call them, then maybe you'll love Sega Rally Championship. But my gaming tastes for arcade racers and racers in general is just different.
Sega Rally Championship is a short burst of fun. The historical terrain physics are impressive, the soundtrack is enjoyable, and for 1995, the graphics look pretty impressive. Unfortunately, the lack of options for racing, the offer of only four courses and three rally cars was a big disappointment. If you love shaving seconds off your best times and replaying courses a hundred times, then hey, maybe you'll love this game. I don't. Four minutes of fun for a video game isn't ideal for my style. So my final score for Sega Rally Championship is a 5.5 out of 10. I can appreciate the good that comes with Sega Rally Championship, but the overall length of it and the time attack gameplay just isn't for me. Again, this is four minutes long. To me, this is a questionable game. You may like it if you enjoy time attacks or time trials, but if you don't, I'd avoid this game. There's really no need to play it. So that's my Sega Rally Championship review, and remember, it's just an opinion. It's okay to have a different opinion than me. This is not a fact. But if you are so inclined to do so, why don't you type up a comment on what you liked about Sega Rally Championship? Or maybe you actually agree with me. Maybe you think, yeah, this game could be a little bit overrated. Let me know your thoughts on Sega Rally Championship in the comments below. And of course, while you're there, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel to watch plenty of retro video game content. Happy gaming, thanks for watching, and make sure you play a video game today.